Hi, this is CAD CAM Lessons channel and in this video I will show you how to download and run FreeCAD 1.0 RC1. RC1 is a release candidate version, meaning it is a test version before the stable version is released. This version introduces many improvements compared to the previous version of FreeCAD. Currently, the stable version of FreeCAD is 0.21.2. While I previously did not use development versions, now with the release of FreeCAD 1.0 RC1, I mainly use this version. This version truly brings many improvements and fixes, and it's worth using. One of the most significant changes is the improvement of FreeCAD in terms of TNP, which stands for Topological Naming Problem. In version 1.0, this has been significantly improved. This TNP, topological naming problem, meant that when creating a 3D model in stages, it was almost impossible to edit sketches from previous stages of the 3D model. We could change the dimensions of a sketch, but we couldn't change the sketch geometry because it would completely damage the 3D model. In version 1.0, this issue has been greatly improved, and in my opinion, even though this version is not yet an official version, it is already better than the stable version 0.212.2. To download and run FreeCAD 1.0 RC1, go to FreeCAD.org. Here, click Download Now. Scroll down and click this button. Here we have the link to download FreeCAD 1.0 RC1. Next, we go to GitHub and download the version for our operating system. I will choose the version for Windows, download this version. Wait a moment for this version to download. After extracting the archive, go to the folder then to the bin folder and launch the freecad.exe file from this folder. FreeCAD has launched and we can use FreeCAD 1.0 RC1. As I mentioned, this version has many improvements compared to previous versions. One of the main improvements that contributed to FreeCAD now being version 1.0 is that the topological naming problem has been significantly improved. This means that when creating a 3D model in stages, for example, I will create the first stage of the 3D model here and add an extrusion. I will create another sketch on this face and I will create another stage of the 3D model and add another extrusion. Now I will create another sketch and add another extrusion. Now I will create another sketch here and add a pocket operation. Regarding the topological naming problem in previous versions, changing the first sketch for instance by editing it and entirely changing the geometry of this sketch would cause the model to become corrupted, whereas in this case it works correctly. This is a significant improvement. For many people this was quite a big problem in creating 3D models. Currently this issue has been eliminated and FreeCAD is becoming an excellent 3D CAD system and it is still a fully free 3D CAD system that can be used both for hobby and commercial purposes. That's all for today. In this video I wanted to show you how to download and run FreeCAD 1.0 RC1 because many people have been asking for the download link. For many people it is not immediately obvious how to run this version since we don't install it but rather run it from the folder. As for the download link for this version, you will find the link in the description of this video. That's all for today, thanks for watching, and please subscribe to this channel.